my name is Adam Pack, and I'm here to talk to my good friend Stein Owusu about God for KB Ministries, and more importantly, my crown of glory. KB, can I call you KB? Yeah, you can call me KB, brother. Welcome, man. Welcome, man. Yeah. First of all, how's life been treating you, KB? Man, life has been good, man. God has been good to me. Um, His grace has been <laughs> sufficient for me, and um, um, God has been very, very good. So good to me, man. I couldn't even say enough, and um, I just want to thank God for that. Amen, bro. Amen. Yeah. Let's go from the present to the future. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, man, um, as you can see in school right now, I'm doing sports management mm -hmm. and I'm um, getting a little bit into business. Um, if you also know me, I have a little bit of a musical mm -hmm. background. Yeah. So I'm, u I'm looking forward to like using, having a mixture of all those and using that to the mm -hmm. glory of right. God. Right. So in the near future, I look, I look forward to myself being like um, the type of um, music um, music person being into music, um, gospel minister, not gospel um, musician, because there's a difference between a musician and, and a minister. Right, a right. minister is somebody who's actually ministering to God, mm -hmm. bringing um, people back to um, back to God. I'm not so much into the um, actual perfection of the music aspect of it, but being used, um, being used um, with a God of God, with the Word of God as mm -hmm. it is, right. and um, also getting into coaching. Um, bring it, just drawing people back to God. Um, looking at our generation, our generation is um, a generation that really needs the touch of God, and I mm -hmm. look forward to being a vessel of God to be used for um, God's work. Um, so I look um, forward to that in the near future. That's great, man. Yeah. Um, let's go from the past. Uh, let's go from the present, I should say, to the past. What was? Uh, let's get some background on your life. What was coming to the United States like? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, as you know, man, I'm a I'm a boy from Ghana, West Africa, man. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm from West Africa, Ghana, man. Um, Ghana, man. Ghana is um, a good place to live. Um, unfortunately, um, my dad passed away um, mm -hmm. in my early ages, and my mom, um, by the grace of God, got um, entrance to the United States. And um, I live with my grand, um, I, I live with my grandmother and my aunt back in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And by the grace of God, we here with our mother. So knowing the values in Ghana compared to the values in United States, or I should say America, um, is um, it, it has helped me a lot, you know. So mm -hmm. I know I know how to balance um, things out mm -hmm. and all that, and I have different perspective right. compared to what the average American or the average African would think about things. So I'm balanced between both, and um, I thank God for that transition too. Because if it wasn't for that transition, mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't have met God the way that I um, I have right now. That's great. Yeah. So, what question? What's one side of Stein that no one sees? <laughs> yeah, one one side of me that um you. You would never see. Um, I always like to um, relate to the Word of God. Um, one thing that the Word of God talks about is um, while God was out doing the good works and, you know, healing people, doing the miracles, mm -hmm. you know, there were people that didn't know that God was waking up early in the morning to go into the solitary places to what? To seek the Father, to seek for um, direction. Right. And right. that's one thing you never see. You never see the part of me that is in hiding seeking for strength, seeking for knowledge, seeking for wisdom. All you see is me out there um, doing the work of God, being on fire for God, doing all these things. And you never understand my praise if you haven't been in my shoe, if you haven't been in my story, you know. So I think um, that's the part of me that people will not see uh, is my time with, my personal time with God, mm -hmm. aside from what we all share together. Right. Yeah. So when exactly do you feel you were called into God's work? And, and was there any one person that really encouraged you or inspired you uh, to continue in that work? Yeah, um, getting into God's work, um, I couldn't tell you a, um, a specific time, but what I could tell you is this. When you receive Christ, something changes about you, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. something changes about you. Um, I used to be the type of musician who would go to church only because there's music there right. or only because there is, I need to go play the piano. Oh, Stein, come play the keyboard, and I'm all happy. Oh, Stein, come, we're not going to have keyboard, we're just going to be praying. Oh, I'm not going, you know, that type of musician, and mm -hmm. that is not, a, a true um, worshiper or a true musician, you know. So um, it got to a time in my life that I start, I started to reevaluate my life, and I was like, "Man, I need to get, I need to get right with God," you know. So um, I started getting into reading my Bible more. I started fleeing away from all these worldly lust. Mm -hmm. I started. Um, you know, t I'm, I'm, when I'm talking about God has been a, um, been a good miracle in my life, he 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 truly has, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I just I just 
something just happened, you know, something just happened, and um, um, God just came in my life. It was just so beautiful, so beautiful, and something just happened, and now I do things unconsciously, unconsciously for God. You know, I don't mm -hmm. think about it. I just do it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Stein, come to my church. I just go. Do this, do this. Mm -hmm. I just do it because, what, the love of God. Mm -hmm. So I think once I began to understand who Christ is mm -hmm. and actually got to experience him in my mm -hmm. life and his love, unconditional love for me, I mm -hmm. think that's when the turnaround comes. So I can I could never tell you a specific time but mm -hmm. I could tell you an error because it got to a shift a time in my life where I started to understand all these right. things and um and that made me a better person um overall you know that's great man yeah so let's talk about speaking about your call for God what exactly is God for KB Ministries talk about that a little bit oh no problem bro um God for KB Ministries um when you look at the Bible um Paul talks about how um God um God use appointed ministers or like let's say he uses people as his, his own vessel to do the work of God right. and what their job is what to bring people or his children back to God right. you know and that's not in our generation right now we don't see that a lot we see musicians more than ministers mm -hmm. you know right. and I, I'm just honored I'm privileged you know um, for me um, I can tell you that what I don't deserve you know the grace of God or the kind mm -hmm. of grace that is so undeserving but what God has chosen me and it's right. just quite right. an honor to be yes, a minister sir. of God you know so um what God for KB Ministries is really about is like is using the little things that I have. You know what what does what, what about KB? KB knows how to play the piano. What about KB? KB knows how to play the drums. What about KB? KB knows how to dance. All those gifts that God has given me to give back to the people of God. So people, the people of God, what do not go into sin. So the people of God do not go away from God. You know. So mm -hmm. using those, use using the 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 godly gifts to bless others, so others can also draw closer to God. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I also like to say is um. Um, using those gifts um, also helps you. It helps you in your building with God. You know, God strengthens you more. Mm -hmm. So even as I'm doing all these things, God is strength strengthening me. So yeah. God for KB Ministries. Um, if if no, um, you didn't know, it's also on Facebook. Um, we actually on Twitter and um, on social media. And what we do is we we it's, it is our task to get up every morning. And share the word of God with the, um, with the people, you know, whether it's getting up today saying Jesus loved you, whether it's getting up tomorrow and saying um, uh, um, be ready upon the coming of God, whether it's right, right. getting ready and just sharing the good news to the people. And the, what the, um, God for KB ministry is really about is spreading the truth, you know, because if we have truly received Jesus, mm -hmm. we want to give Jesus. We don't want to give nothing but Jesus, you know, right. and Jesus is all we want to give. And that's all God for KB Ministries is about. We're all about um, the love of God and spreading it. Yeah. Right. So we talked about some benefits and some great things about being a minister, but let's talk about some of the challenges of being a minister for God. What, what are some of those in your life? Oh, man, I, I have many challenges in my life. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hide that from you. Um, um, challenges from like even um, temptations, you know, mm -hmm. temptations. Yeah. You're gonna get tempted a lot, and um, you gotta you gotta seek God in prayer, mm -hmm. you know, for you to um, break up, um, for God to break you from all these things. Um, challenges come from um, sometimes you'll be doing the work of God, but you know, you'll be doing the work of God, but some, it seems like God is not there, you know, but you just got to have a little bit more faith, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's my, it's like my work with God, I'm, I'm being strengthened. Like, in my weaknesses, he's still strengthening me in a way, yeah, you know, right, in my weaknesses. Right. Like, it's so funny, like, some people get weak and, ah, I'm gone. But, like, it's like in my weaknesses, God is, like, pushing me. Right. KB, go a, step, go a step further. KB, push a step further. And it's just so great because in my weaknesses, I mm. see God there even the most, you know. Yeah. And um, yeah. I and I, I, I would say I do have some weaknesses, you know. But mm. um, I think in my weaknesses, Who because does of it, you know? exactly everybody <laughs> have everybody have a weakness, That's but right, yeah. but because of my weakness, um, right. because of my faith in Christ, right. you know, in my weaknesses, He still um, He still um, um, holds me up and He right. still pushes right. me forward, and that helps me move That's forward right. in life. Yeah. That's great. So let's let's talk real quick. A very common question: What's your favorite verse of the Bible, and why? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's many, there's yeah, many. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, even even with my favorite um, verse um, in the Bible, I would like to say um, three, 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 and that's something God put on my heart um, this past past couple of weeks. Um, three, three, three is just um, an emergency number to me. 
Mm -hmm. When we look at our world today, when somebody's in trouble, they want to call 911. Right, right, right. But as a Christian, as a Christian, God tells me that when I'm in trouble, mm -hmm. my emergency number is 333. And that is simply from Jeremiah 33, verse 3. And all God is saying is, well, call on him and he will answer. And even things that you do not know, things right. that are undiscovered, he's right. going to show them to you. That's, That's right. so amazing, you know. That is. So um, that is um, that is one of my favorite um, chap um, chapters in the um, um, in the Bible, yeah. Now, you were, you were talking to me uh, at some point about who your favorite person in the Bible was. Why don't you tell the people about that a little bit? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, my favorite person in the Bible, um, I would say, would be Paul. Why Paul? Right, right. Well, Paul was not always Paul. Paul used to be Saul. Right. Right? Right. And Saul was a person who did not do the will of God. He went against the will of God. He persecuted Christians. Mm -hmm. He uh, murdered the innocent. He was just the... Per, the kind of king that overruled his people, mm -hmm. you know. So if you bring him to this world today, you know people would not really um, like um, like Saul, you know. <laughs> yeah. But something happened. The Holy Spirit came over Saul, and Saul converted into Paul. Right. You right. know. And now we see Paul, and now it's like even we learn more about Paul these days. You know, the the power of of God following Paul. It's still pushing in our generation. Mm -hmm. It's still, um, um, it's still working in our generation. And Paul has been a very good person. I look at my life, man. I could have been the person who was into partying. I could have been the person who was into sleeping around with a bunch of girls. I could have been the person who, um, who, who is into fornicating. I could have been the person who is into drug addiction. But I met God, Christ the Savior, and Christ changed my life. Mm -hmm. Christ changed my life. And I'm not that person. Mm -hmm. And I thank God. Um, this is all to the glory of God, and I thank God for that, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you've been distributing flyers recently about your new album. Tell us a little bit about that, My Crown of Glory. Tell us more about. Oh that. yeah, man, My Crown of Glory. Um, I'll be honest with you, man. Uh, my Crown of Glory is actually my album luncheon. Right. But um, Word of God tells us that in everything that we do, we need to seek knowledge and wisdom from God. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I want to do an album luncheon, and I don't want to go by my old own ways. So I seek God in prayer, and God says, "Wow." If you want to seek me, um, Crown of Glory is um, it's a good name for you, man. So God gave us Crown of Glory, and God says it's, it's going to be a night where the unheard of is going to happen. It's right. going to be a night wow. where I'm going to take people that have been that are captives. I'm going to take captives, captives, and I'm going to set them free. It's going to be mm -hmm. a night where people will, see, will receive their breakthrough. It's mm -hmm. going to be a night that I'm going to do the same great things that I did for you to others. Wow. So if I was mm -hmm. able to touch your life, why can't I touch somebody's life? Right. I'm going to do the same thing for them. So God is simply saying, my crown of glory. We, um, he gave us um, the scripture from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 4, and it says, upon, his coming, um, upon the coming of the good shepherd, he's going to crown us with his unfading glory. And that means unfading glory is saying that his glory is never going to fade away. Nothing more, much more beautiful than that. I don't know what, what, um, what more you could want. Mm -hmm. You know, and right. um, we actually kind of surrounded with um, um, Matthew chapter 25, where it talks about how... Um, um, how he's going to separate the good from the bad and he's going to judge us according to how our living. Whether, what, while you're on earth, you did exactly what he, he asked you to do. Did you go by your own way? Did you go by the wisdom of God? All that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just so great. Crown of Glory is a power-packed program. It's a life-changing experience. I encourage everybody to really come. The admission is really free. Um, 5.30 p.m. shop at the Ebenezer Presbyterian Church of Woodbridge, Virginia. Um, if you really come out, um, God is really going to touch you. One thing I, I would always tell um, people to really not, um, um, one thing I would tell the viewers to really not um, take um, in effect is that Crown of Glory is not about me. Yes, I'm launching an album, but Crown of Glory is about Jesus. It's a Jesus encounter with us, and um, mm -hmm. I want us to all come to Crown of Glory, and let's receive the touch of God. So that's the little I'll tell you guys. Yeah, about mm -hmm. Crown of Glory. All right, before we go, one last question. What personal advice would you give to someone who wants to go into ministry or who feels they have a call from God on their life? Yeah, um, um, one thing I'll tell you, um, if anybody is watching right now and um, you are into ministry or you're, in, you're a musician and you need a piece of advice, one thing I'll tell you that, um, you know, as a Christian, you know, you need to give your life to um, Christ. A lot of us are not, have not truly... Um, receive salvation. So receive true salvation. And um, like I was talking to you a while ago, and mm -hmm. we were talking about forgiveness and repentance. Yeah. And we were talking about that. You know, it's one thing to forgive, and it's it's one thing to ask God for repentance. There's something a little. There's a little more after that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna really ask you to do is really get closer to God. You want to be as close. I'm talking about 
how God can be closer to you, God can be closer to you than the clothes that you put on. <laughs> That's the closest thing to you. Your boyfriend is not close to you. Your clothes, like physically, physically speaking, your clothes are the closest thing to you. But God can be closer than your clothes. That is something deep. I don't know how you take it, but all I can tell you is get closer to God. And if you are closer to God, you're going to be successful in everything that you push forward to, um, for. All right, let's uh, close out with how to get in contact with you and some dates on My Crown of Glory. Yeah, um, again, um, if anybody wants to get in touch with me, um, just um, contact me in my email, godforkbministries at yahoo.com. Um, you can contact me on God for KB Ministries. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, about it. ask askfm.com you can ask you can ask us questions if you need to we we are we also on youtube on, on on youtube what we are doing is um we are spreading the love of god through our videos you know um, as you guys know already from as i previously previously mentioned i'm a keyboardist so what i do is i have piano lessons and i give back to the people so people give me requests and i do um requests for them so um, if you'd like to watch some of our videos, you can tune in to God for KB Ministries. Just type in God for KB Ministries on YouTube and you'll find us. And um, again, if you did not catch the information for Crown of Glory, um, it's going to be uh, June 14th. June 14th, 5. Um, it's going to be a Saturday night, by the way, 5.30 p.m. shop. Um, please do not be late. We are going by the American time, and I only say that because back in Northern Virginia, uh, when we say American time, it tells you that, yeah, we're we actually coming on time. So please do come on time, you know. Do come on time, and um, Crown of Glory is going to be a beautiful program. Great musicians. We're going to have um, our minister, Yao Sewusu, in the building. We're going to have um, Voices of Inspiration, but it doesn't even matter who's going to be there. Just know that Jesus is going to be there. That's what really matters. So Crown of Glory is a pack, um, power pack program. May I uh, make it a point to be there. And Ebenezer, what's it's at the... Yeah, it's, it's actually at the Ebenezer Presbyterian Church um, of Woodbridge. 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 And the admission, Woodbridge, is, admission is free, right? And admission is actually free, yeah. Right. Sounds yeah. great. Thanks for talking to me, free. Yeah, anyway, God bless you for having me, man. God bless you, brother. Yeah, it was a privilege. No, it was a privilege. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. surrender to you all that i have within me